Yes, I'm starting to dislike him. Just off the fact that he's he's fake. He's f In one of his interviews, Don Tank Davis exposed Ryan Garcia as being fake. He went on to explain why he began disliking Kingry so much. And try to make him like a saint. Like, I, I'm cool with him believing in God, but we know for sure that what you do, like you can't, come on bro. Kingar's opponent on April 20th, Devin Haney, also dislikes the star boxer and had a strong message for the audience during a face-off on GQ Sports. Bro needs to tune in. The world is going to see me beat down Ryan Garcia, get him out of boxing because he's definitely not a good role model and not a guy that, you know, the younger generation should be looking at. They should be looking at guys like Both Tank and Devin hate Ryan Garcia to the core, but what did they have to say about King Ryan? And is he a bad influence on the sport? Stick around and watch as we find out in today's video. Javent Tank Davis's interview with Complex last year was an eye-opener as to why he hates the boxing star so much. Tank didn't mince words as he completely exposed Kingry. The animosity between Tank and Kingry transcends the usual competitive spirit, revealing a deep-seated dislike that has evolved. Tank fought Garcia in July last year, where he destroyed the star boxer via a seventh-round knockout before the fight. Tank did an interview with Complex where he opened up about his animosity toward Garcia. Tank didn't always hate Cry, but the hatred began when he started perceiving Garcia as not just a competitor, but as a rival who misrepresented him to the public and media in the lead-up to their fight. Davis stated that his disdain for Garcia grew as he observed Garcia's behavior in public statements. According to Davis, Garcia crafts a public persona that is at odds with his private actions, which include indulging in the nightlife and other activities that don't align with his saintly image. As a person, but it's just so much he was doing, like he was telling people like I pit in a contract that he can't drink water or, or eat, eat for, for three, three days. days. Like that is, that is not true? crazy. Davis feels particularly grieved by Garcia's attempts to paint him as the bad guy for boxing. This narrative, he argues, is not only false, but also damaging to his reputation. He asserts that Garcia's portrayal of himself as a morally superior figure is hypocritical considering his offering activities that contradict his public image. During the interview, the tank also exposed Kingry as a hypocrite. Garcia, known for his quick hands and charismatic appeal, has cultivated a reputation as a clean, positive role model in the sport. His social media presence is carefully curated, displaying a persona that resonates with a wide audience and emphasizing discipline, dedication, and a commitment to maintaining an upright image. However, Davis challenges this portrayal, bringing to light a contrasting picture of Garcia's lifestyle, which includes nightlife and gambling activities that seem at odds with the disciplined athlete. Persona Garcia projects Davis' grievances stem from what he sees as a stark contrast between Garcia's public exhortations of virtue and his private indulgences. He accuses Garcia of manipulating his public image to gain favor and sympathy among fans and media, while simultaneously engaging in behaviors that contradict this public image. According to Davis, this duplicity is not just a personal failing of Garcia, but an unethical ploy that could mislead fans and detractors alike. This accusation of hypocrisy is particularly potent in sports, where athletes are often role models. The authenticity of an athlete's persona can significantly impact their marketability, fan base, and influence, especially in a sport as globally visible and culturally significant as boxing. Davis argues that Garcia's behavior potentially undermines the sport's integrity by projecting an image that is not only false, but also sets a misleading standard for young fans who might look up to him. Furthermore, the issue of hypocrisy touches on broader themes of truthfulness and the construction of public identity in an era where personal branding is as crucial as performance. The authenticity of one's public image has become a battleground. The dispute between Davis and Garcia thus reflects deeper societal questions about the nature of celebrity and the responsibilities public figures bear. This feud between these two has become more than personal dislike. It is a clash of personal and public identities, with each fighter vying to control their narratives within the media and amongst fans. And it is not just Davis who exposed Kingry for being the complete opposite of what he portrays. Devin Haney also exposed Ryan's hypocrisy ahead of their fight. 
Kingry has been involved in plenty of drama in the lead-up to the April 20th clash. Garcia has taken verbal jabs at Devin, and his dad also had a major mental health scare, casting doubts over his readiness to fight. There was also a TikToker. Bryce Hall exposes Kingry's deadly gambling addiction. Paul exposed Garcia's penchant for high-stakes gambling, revealing that Garcia has lost millions of dollars in Las Vegas' glitzy casinos over the last few years. This startling disclosure has not only captivated the attention of fans and critics alike, but also raised pertinent questions about Garcia's state of mind and financial stability. The implications of Hall's revelations are manifold. First, there's the immediate concern regarding Garcia's financial health. Losing vast sums of money can place immense pressure on anyone, let alone a professional athlete earning millions from his fights. Second, and perhaps more critically, is the question of Garcia's mental readiness for his upcoming fight against Devin Haney. The stress associated with significant financial loss could potentially distract Garcia from his training and preparation, giving Haney an unintentional edge. The exposure of Garcia's gambling issues by Hall cast doubts over Garcia's being a good role model for the audience of the sport of boxing. And it is not just Garcia's gambling habit that is problematic. Kingry made several controversial statements, according to Devin, in one interview. The Dream explained why his bout with Garcia became personal. He said he said something about my religion. That was a turning point for me. He knows what he said. I prefer not to echo it. He's aware of his words and their intended direction toward me. Now it's become a personal battle in his defense. Garcia responded by saying I managed to catch a bit of his commentary. First, I want to make it clear that I've never disrespected his religion. That's something I'd never entertain. I'll tell you what I said. My words were Merry Christmas, and he perceived that as a slight. Was I aware that Muslims don't celebrate Christmas? No, that slipped my mind. My photographer is a Muslim, and there's absolutely no disrespect between us. Devin, let's not drag religion into our rivalry. It baffles me why you do that. In his latest interview with GQ Sports, Haney publicly criticized Garcia, questioning his suitability as a role model for upcoming athletes and fans alike. According to Haney, Garcia portrays himself as a paragon of virtue, a disciplined, hardworking athlete who lives a clean and responsible life. However, Haney argues that this image is not entirely accurate and does not reflect the complexity of Garcia's lifestyle choices, including aspects like his nightlife activities and gambling habits, as highlighted by Hall in his statements. Haney emphasizes the importance of athletes being genuine and transparent, particularly when they are placed in a position of influence over young fans. He advocates for role models in the sport who not only excel in their athletic performance, but also lead lives that are congruent with the values they espouse publicly. This, he argues, is where Garcia falls short. Haney suggests that aspiring boxers and their supporters would be better off looking up to individuals who genuinely embody the principles they preach, athletes who walk the talk, and Haney's critique extends beyond personal grievances and touching on a broader ethical question within sports. The responsibility of athletes as public figures. He underscores the potential damage that could be done when public figures fail to live up to the wholesome images they project. For Haney, the integrity of one's character and the consistency between one's public and private personas are crucial not just for personal authenticity, but for the health and future of boxing as a sport by positioning himself as an alternative role model. Haney is not only distancing himself from Garcia's approach, but is also challenging the culture of superficiality and hypocrisy that he perceives as being prevalent in some quarters of the sport. This strong stance from a fellow competitor underlines the ongoing debate within boxing about the role of athletes in society and the standards to which they should be held both in and out of the ring. The drama between Davis and Garcia and now Devin Haney has raised questions about King's impact on the sport. Rivalries in sports, especially boxing, have traditionally been a double-edged sword. On one hand, they generate significant interest and can lead to blockbuster matches that draw large audiences both in person and via broadcast. The personal animosity between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia has added a narrative layer that captivates fans, potentially increasing ticket sales, pay-per-view buys, and overall visibility for the sport. However, there is a delicate balance to maintain when personal conflicts become the focal point of the sport itself and its technical nuances.
the athlete's skills and the strategic aspects of boxing can be overshadowed. This shift in focus might compromise the integrity of boxing by prioritizing entertainment value over athletic competition. The danger lies in turning the sport into a mere backdrop for personal vendettas, where the hype surrounding conflicts could diminish the appreciation of boxing as a disciplined and strategic sport. Furthermore, such rivalries can set a precedent that encourages emerging athletes to engage in similar behavior, believing that escalating conflicts could be a viable path to greater fame and financial success. This could lead to a culture where up-and-coming boxers feel compelled to create or exaggerate conflicts for the sake of publicity, potentially leading to a more divisive environment within the sport. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with Javin Tank? Davis and Devin Haney expose Ryan Garka as a hypocrite and a bad influence. Let us know in the comments. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.